Hello and welcome to this video in the ClearPass workshop series. My name is Herman and in this series we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wireless, wired Active Directory and much more. So in the next video we built the uh, ClearPass admin login so we can now log in with our ID account into uh, ClearPass. What we will be doing in this uh, episode is that we are doing the same uh, but then for our instant AP, so we logged in as admin to our instant AP. Um, but wouldn't it be nice if we have a lot of instant APs or other network equipment that we can uh, put the authentication to ClearPass so we have centrally uh, information about who's logging in and uh, also people are doing, who are leaving the company immediately uh, lose access to the admin interfaces. So let's do this uh, in another uh, another way. So uh, what we did here in uh, the for the admin users is that we created this service, um, and uh, for this instant uh, we'll do it the other way. So uh, to configure the radius server, so we'll first start to configure the radius server. Uh, to do that, we go here to the uh, system and then the admin. And we have authentication here we can uh, put in if we want to do have the internal authentication server or authentication server with fallback to internal so here the authentication so we will first try to do the publisher and uh, these are the same radius definitions that we created for the wireless LAN. so if you didn't catch that one um, check back the video uh, there's a link to all the videos below this video and uh, there is a video on setting up uh, wireless access and there we defined these uh, authentication servers and um, if we define the authentication servers uh, we can put in a fallback password here um, which is used in the case that we cannot authenticate against ClearPass so this is basically what we need to do on the instant AP so let's see if that worked so um, let's log in as admin1 and yeah that's supposed to fail because um, we didn't configure anything on the clear pass yet so on clear pass let's first try the access tracker and what we can see is that there is an admin account admin request coming in uh, from the instant ap so if we go into the request just click on it we can see that the instant ap is requesting access um, and here on the alerts what we can see is it failed to categorize uh, failed to classify the service so um, there was no service that's matching and you can also see that here because the service is uh, empty so what we need to do is we need to create a service in ClearPass to authenticate this request and in order to do that uh, what I typically do is I let a authentication coming in like we just did and then check in the radius request for data that uh, might be useful to uh, to do the uh, authentication and I think the port type is 5 and the service type is 6 um, let me write that down um, I think uh, yeah those are uh, typical uh, typical data points uh, to do the classif classification uh, on so port type 5 service 6 so with that information um, let's build a service so let's duplicate this service uh, this tab go to the configuration and we are uh, adding a new service and uh, what we will do for now because it's not really wired it's not wireless um, we will take um, a radius uh, enforcement generic which is uh, yeah the most common uh, the most common one so let's pick a name uh, Aruba instant admin and we can put a description in there as well so here this is where we uh, will put in uh, these attributes so let's first IETF uh, NAS port type so IETF radius IETF NAS port type equals and the port type should be 5 and 
Let's put in another one. We need to pick it so it's the virtual port. Then here under IETF and the NAS oh, service type equals six and six is administrative user. So that makes sense. And also make sure that you have this on uh, all of the following conditions. So in the next step we will do the authentication and for admin login we typically uh, use pep authentication um well, let's put in ms put in chip as uh, well so one of these uh, should work and the authentication source sources we again put in our active directory then here under the roles we pick the same role mapping so again uh we created that for wireless uh, to uh find out if people are admins help desk or others users uh, we will reuse this uh, here which also makes it easy if we have admins uh, if we change the uh, the name of the group for example in ad or we have another group that needs to be admin as well we can just create another rule in this uh, role mapping and then here what we can do is uh, yeah just put the uh, sample allow all policy which will do an authentication and it will um, um, if it authenticates correctly it will be um, it will be okay. So let's do that for now, which will uh, make sure that everyone can uh, log in. But uh, we'll fix that later on. So let's reorder this one and put that big low. This one uh, and another thing that we can do here is we can make uh, nice section uh, headers, and I typically take the tagx plus uh, for that. Um, and just give it the label administrative logins and yeah, well then this, let's see if we can save it. Oh, we need to have an authentication source. So put the admin user repository in there. Um, so that's enough. So we disable this and we can, uh, move this up as well. So now we have a nice section divider, um, which will make it uh, easier to read. So we can make another one for, uh, for wireless. So let's copy this one, copy. And here we can change this to Aruba instant wireless save reorder and put this just be uh, beyond uh, beyond uh, above this one so this is uh, yeah not really needed but um it will make it uh yeah prettier and uh we can uh, read it better so disable this one so let's see if that did something so now let's do here admin 1 admin 123 you can see we can uh, log in, uh, but we still have a problem that uh, user one uh, with a password can log in as well because yeah, everyone can uh, log in now. So we need to create a better enforcement. Um, so let's do that. So we go back in our instant admin and here in the enforcement, um, what we will do is we create a new enforcement policy. WS instant admin enforcement default. We will give a deny access. And we create a role that if tips role equals admin, we will do an allow access save take this one oh, see i did a miss type enforcement that doesn't affect behavior but um yeah you can see that you can easily uh change things and let's try again 
So um, log out here and first check if we can still log in as admin. Oh, I think I missed one character in the password. Yeah, so we can log in as admin and we shouldn't uh, be able to log in as uh, user one. And we shouldn't be able to log in as help desk. So let's see here in the access tracker how that looks like. So we can see um, that, uh, yeah, first we had that allow access profile for everyone. And uh, when we changed it, the enforcement profile, we can see that we have an allow access here for, uh, for this user. And here we have a deny access because I uh, made an error as in the pass in the password and uh, the user um, that one uh, yeah, was just denied by policy because we didn't want to have the uh, normal users or help desk users to log in to our instant access point. So pretty nice. In this video, uh, we created a service in ClearPass to authenticate remote admin users for Aruba instant APs. And um, yeah, we will make more videos uh, like this. So in the next video, we will be creating an admin user for uh, Aruba OS switches. So if you have a lot of switches in your organization, you can use similar techniques to uh, authenticate those users as well, just like the Aruba instant or the users that are authenticating against ClearPass. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please let it know below this video. If you have comments, requests, uh, or other things that you want to share, uh, please post it below this video. And if you subscribe, you will be notified for the next video and be the first to watch that video. So thanks and bye.